So hello and welcome back to my C++ tutorial playlist. In this video we will build a simple to-do list app and we will name it Quest Tracker. The source code for this project is linked in the description. The main topic of this project will be how to use third-party libraries in C++ and for that we will use a package manager called CPM CMake. The good thing about this is that it's entirely written in CMake, so it uses fetch content and all the other CMake functionality. So we don't need any third party library, it's just the CMake script. And as you can see, we build a fully functional app right here. So let's get started. So before we get started, there was a small issue with our CMake, and that's, that is with the standard required. We set it here to 23 that also evaluates to true but we should have it set to true here and now the first thing that we want to do is to get cpm cmake and that is a public repository on github with a nice readme and examples and everything and all we need to do to use cpm cmake is to follow the install instructions here and copy the command that we have here then we execute that in the terminal of our project and should have it added there. But I will write some custom functionality here that we use CMake itself to download CPM in the correct folder. And that should have everything set up correctly. So if we don't have CPM CMake yet, then we will download it using CMake. And that will help us to automatically download CPM CMake for us. So we don't have to paste the install instructions here into our terminal manually. This will resolve it automatically for us. And we also want to quit if CPM CMake wasn't able to be installed. So we throw a fatal error right there. So our CMake script stops there if it wasn't successful. And after that, we can include CPM CMake and then we have all the functionality that CPM CMake offers us and we can start to include third party libraries. CPM CMake also has a lot of examples. The first dependency that we want to use in our project is SDL3 and we can include it like that. And after that we will include I'm GUI. I'm GUI doesn't have a CMake target that it, that it exports correctly. So we will need to do some setup here and set up our own I'm GUI library where we define the source files that we want to use and also resolve the include directories manually. But we can do that as any other library that we set up our own. We just have to uh, do it for I'm GUI ourselves because it doesn't export a library target. And then if everything worked correctly, we can already include all the things from our third party libraries and we can start to set up SDL. All of the code is of course in the description, linked in the description to a public GitHub repository where you can easily follow along and copy all the code from there. It's just a bunch of boilerplate code that we need to do to set up SDL and I'm GUI. So first we need to create a window and we, we need to create a SDL, uh, an OpenGL context and so on and so forth. Just the standard boilerplate stuff that some of you might be familiar with if you have worked with um, OpenGL or something in the past. Then here, of course, we also need to set up the backends before I'm GUI so it knows where to draw to and what GLSL version it can use and so on. Then we, of course, need to have an event loop. And in the rendering loop, we can then use I'm GUI to draw using the I'm GUI functionality. So as usual, we need to resolve some linking issues here. And as you can see, we have some working window and then we can begin to redesign our logic that we need for our quests. Unfortunately, the original audio got deleted and I'm commenting over it right now. So, but it's really straightforward. It's just, uh, I'm adapting the logic that we had for our to-do list um, already to work with an app state where we store the state of our GUI app in and then I'm integrating the to-do list that we had already into this app and do some minor adjustments to make it work correctly. And then I'm just doing some styling to make the GUI app look nice. I'm GUI is really not that 
hard to use if you manage to set it up. That's really the hardest part of it. After that, it's really straightforward to use. It's an immediate mode library, so there's no state to be concerned with or anything. You can just do the calls that you want to see every frame and then be done with it. For example, as you can see here, we just use if and then I'm GUI button and that draws the button and also checks if the button was pressed in that frame. So it's really straightforward. What's a little bit annoying is that any string in I'm GUI is char pointer, so a C string and not an STD string, but you can easily use the C string method of the STD string to get a pointer to the underlying data but you need to be aware of lifetime issues. And as you can see here, we already have a working app with I'm GUI and using SDL. And that's already everything for this video. And with that, see you in the next one where we will have proper audio again. I'm sorry that I had to re-record this and a lot of information got lost, but I hope that it's still helpful.